Good afternoon, this is Tiffany of Tiffany's Beauty Trends. And this morning I started out with um, my regular base foundation, a loose powder, blush, eyebrow kit, and um, the only thing I had left was my eyes and my mouth. And what I did today is I used Maybelline's Lemonade Craze. So, to let you know what I've done, because the video got interrupted and I don't know how to splice it, is I started out with Berry Ice, which is right here. I put that in the lower crease. Then I, oh, I actually used Sunny's first, I'm sorry. Sunny's in the lower crease, then Berry Ice on the upper crease and then I used ice pop to the middle and to the little bit in the corner just to give it an outline and then for my lid I chose citrus which is this color here citrus is a very beautiful color but it does take a little bit of time to build it up so I worked on citrus and then I rebuilt the ice pop which is that corner color brought it up more in the center and more in the corner and went for a darker look so I went here and then here with it And here then for the last thing I went with Sunny's again and I used it to um, highlight my brow bone or my underneath the brow excuse me and it works really quite nicely it's a very pale whitish yellow and it does the job just fine I think the sprinkles are a little left over from the citrus color. So now all that I need is my lipstick. So if you'll just hang on for a second, I will find what lipstick I want to use or which lipstick I should say. And I think I'm gonna go with Tarte um, Intuitive. It is a color that is berry and the color berry that it actually ends up being depends on the pH of your lips. So go ahead and done that. And um I did forget I have a new um, mascara to try out too. It's called CoverGirl Total Tease and it says Hydrofuge. So I'll go ahead and pull this out and see what we have to work with. Okay, this has a very prickly comb and then a little ball catch on the end. So, what I'll do is I will use the prickly part. Oh, I touched my nose. Never want to do that. And then perhaps incorporate the ball to the ends of my lashes. See if that does anything. So far, I'm not seeing much of a difference. And my concern is that I cannot do the other side. Okay, so I will try to use the prickly part on the regular lashes. And then I'll see if I can 
reverse and use the ball on the lower edge or the upper edge, I'm sorry. I'm not noticing a great deal of difference, but it just may, may be one of those things where you have to check it out after it's applied better. So let me just make sure I've got good application. So far, the um, lashes seem to be very individual and they seem like they're a bit long, but I didn't curl them first, so that may be the one mistake that we're having right now is non-curled lashes. So I'll go ahead and see what happens when I do my lower lashes and just kind of go slow so I don't impart, oh, I think I hit my nose again. You know what? I hit my nose all of the time and it's a technique issue, I'm sure it is. So I'll use this little rounded part trying to get my hair out of the way on the edge and then this part on the beginning or inner section see if we're getting any payoff I feel like we are getting some payoff oh dear <laughs> I just hit that pretty hard. Okay. I need to slow down clearly. And apply these. The way they're supposed to be applied. At least I think. Okay, what would I rate these products? I think I got a very pretty look from the Lemonade Craze. Um, I, it was about $15, and I don't think that that was too much for the look that actually I ended up with. I really liked the red color for the liner, and um, it gave a good deal of pop to the eye. And as far as this mascara goes, I kind of like how the individual lashes are turning out, but I'm a bit confused as to the utility of the ball. Or as I call it, it's just like a little ball that exists on the opposite side of the other bristles. So if you touch anything else, it's just getting that. I don't know how this eye has turned out. Can't see it very well on camera. So I'm not sure. Oh dear. Okay, well, maybe I should be finishing up and getting it done before I have really created a monster. I'm trying to get this on the right side. It's just so confusing to keep moving these around. Okay, so I think I have touched the under eye area with the mascara brush a ton of times to where it looks like it's the outline color. Oh, and I didn't do an outline color with my 
Maybelline. So let me look here and pick out an outline color to go under that. Okay, I don't need that kind of brush. This is what I need. So maybe just for a little change, I'll go with a darker copper color, which is called Sugar Coated, and bring it under the lashes. So, that looks pretty good so far. And now we can see how it goes on this side. See how that looks so far. Okay. I think this is a pretty good look. I wouldn't be embarrassed to go out with this look. If it was a nighttime look, I might try to um, amp up the look even more with the red color. But for a daytime look, I think this is very pretty. So anyway, this is Tiffany signing off. Not sure if I'll do a second look today or not. Please remember my contest is still going. I imagine it will be going for another two to three weeks to get enough people in each bowl so I can make a true selection. Right now, um, it's only gone up by about eight people, which isn't enough to run a contest. That's like literally six in one bowl and three in the other. So I'm not gonna quit it yet. So for those of you that are a little impatient, I'm sorry, but I want to do it when I've got a good number of people. I have been surprised. I thought the Norvina would be popular, but the most popular is Soft Glam. So um, not that I don't agree with it. It's a very beautiful palette. So keep entering, keep subscribing, and keep hitting that bell so you know every time I've uploaded a new video. Thank you so much for your patronage and following and caring. It does make a ton of difference for me. And I think you can tell just by the way I'm filming today that I'm elated. I'm so happy. Just knowing this is reaching a few more people makes my heart sing. So have a great day. Maybe there'll be a number two. Bye.